right, we're checking out the only game where the stronger a vehicle's grip is, the stronger my will to live is, it's GTA. We wanted to find out which vehicles in GTA have the best grip, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge. He's created a massive board with all these different surfaces and challenges, and now each vehicle will be put through the test to find out which one has the best traction. He's given us an absolute ton of cars to use, and obviously as the vehicle's traction slips, so does my sanity. So in the end, there can only be one survivor. Let's do this. Welcome to Steep Ascend. The surface for this one is gravel. I thought I would start with at least something that I know to have decent grip strength. By the way, if you navigate to the bottom left of the abuse I'm going through, there's a join button next to the subscribe button if you want to join the memberships and see over a hundred videos that no one else gets to see. Okay. Okay, so he's put a stop stick there so that I'm assuming I can't just get like a million miles per hour and just ramp off this thing. Okay, this, this ascend, it, whoa, <laughs> saved it. This ascend is ridiculous. I don't even think this Jeep can get up halfway. Also, hello, random bird. <laughs> you dodged it just in the nick of time. All right, I'm gonna see if I can cheat just like a little bit of extra speed off the hump maybe and you can tell where the tires, I was gonna say where the tire skids are at. I got probably about 30 feet further on that attempt, but we're Ooh. still not even a third of the way up the ascend. First person failure. I feel like I got further in first person. That's really weird. Ow. Don't mind me, I wanted to test to see if this was a nightmare. It's not, it's real life, that hurt. All right, you sit in the corner and you think about what you've done. I mean, the tires got some wicked tread on them, and I don't know why, but he's put a massive spoiler on this thing, so maybe it's got really good downforce. Oh yeah, oh wow, okay. Oh, it's right there. I, I could have sworn this was gonna make it. I gotta try this again, ow. I think it just broke both of my femurs. Grace, femurs, it's what's for dinner. Come on, baby, come on, come on, come on. Oh, like 20 feet from the top. Every time I hit the ground, it hurts so much. My doctor's always like, Gray, why do you have lower back pain? Because I keep on falling into the ground at terminal velocity. I can save this. Okay, so I was able to save it before I died, but it doesn't matter. This thing can't manage to get through the very first challenge, so. Check it out. Now we're talking. Since we can't use a lot of speed anyway, I might as well just use a lot of torque. And this thing's got it. The tires don't look like they have much traction. Yeah, it kind of gets close to the top, but the very first challenge is probably one of the hardest first challenges I've seen in a board like this, because most of the vehicles can't even get close. The giant bumper on the front is to push aside all of my hopes and aspirations. Just because it's weird, I feel like you get further in first person. I wanna try this in first person. What? You 100% do. Look, I don't know what this game does, but when you're in first person, the traction's better. <laughs> it really is. This is so odd. This is coming to a GTA Mythbusters near you. Look at how close I am. I feel like I'm right there. All right, close, but no cigar. We're going with like a, with one of the dune racers here. This thing should do fantastic, right? Because it's gravel and there we go. That's what it was made to climb. Okay, so this is the very first vehicle that managed to go all the way up Vomit Mountain. And oh my God. <laughs> the only problem was Vomit Mountain was shielding my eyes from this monstrosity. Spiral surface ice. Okay. I love that Alex was like, hey, how can I make a spiral worse? I know! Let's go ahead and coat it in Crisco. Maybe there's no stop stick here and I can just get as much speed as possible because I don't see a line or anything. All right, there's no stop stick, let's do this! Come on, baby. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Oh, actually, this is way worse than I thought it would be. I couldn't even hold. I didn't know that the lack of traction messes with you on the loop. Luckily though, getting up the gravel area is no big deal in this thing. First try every time. All right, maximum speed. The whole time, we're gonna hump boost, we're gonna climb, I'm gonna kind of fail and miss, and then I'm gonna land in the shrubbery over here. Third time is the charm. I'm actually getting as inside as possible. That's my plan here. There we go. There we go, that did it. Okay, cool. So you wanna go to the inside 
of the spiral as much as possible. It hugs a lot better then. Well, I say hugs. It's not really a caress style of hug. It doesn't make me feel safe and secure at all. Descend. Breaking surface sa sand. Oh. Where's the sand at? All right. Well, either way, this doesn't look that bad. These, uh, these like metal platforms are fairly easy to climb. As long as I have a little bit of forward momentum, we should be able to do this with no big deal. We're going to do it at two miles an hour, but we're going to do it. Told you, man. All the way up at the top. Oh, there's like a puzzle piece sitting down there. Kind of looks like a sad dinosaur. What is this? What do you do? What does it boost you downward? There's an arrow at the bottom. I don't know. I have no idea what it's trying to tell me. All right. Sure. Let's do it. Oh, here's the sand. Oh, breaking like breaks. <laughs> okay. And then you, do you have to stay on top of this tilted surface? I think what you do is you fly off the boost areas. <laughs> Don't mind me, I just wanted to lose some of my flesh. You fly off the boosted areas, you come down this, and then you have to stop and then pull over to your right and go through the teleporter. So the grip is about how well it breaks. I got it, B-R-A-K-E. Okay, so basically we need to start breaking immediately. And stop, 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 come on! Okay, the stupid, stop, the stupid boosters make this a lot more difficult than you think. I'm trying to, I'm trying everything I can, but I have a, like, I need 60 more feet to stop this thing. I don't think it's gonna do it. I mean, I don't know. I never really tested to see how good the grip strength is of this thing, so maybe it's really good. First try, gravel, here we go! It definitely has lots of, uh, girth. Uh, it almost made it to the top. <laughs> it did better than the Jeep. All right, I want to give this one more try. I can just barely get past it, but I can't lean forward and grip. Okay, really weird thing, because this is part of, like, the Mythbusters thing I was talking about. I'm going to do this in first person. Well, maybe it gets a little bit further. Yeah, it's not going to make it. Again. This has some really good traction. Like when it comes to climbing stuff, it's incredible. So this should go first try. Re yeah, first try. I got even more height than the last vehicle that managed to complete that challenge. So now spiral wall shouldn't have any problem. You want to go way to the inside though. Oh God, way to the inside. Oh. This is what disappointment looks like. I can see why Alex gave me this many vehicles. We're going through them quick. We're doing the Wastelander. Y'all know about the Wastelander. It's big, it's pink. It doesn't mess up any challenge. Look at that. Boom, Wastelander all day long. Ice challenge, Wastelander. First try. Are you ready? Go was it a human? Why, those why did a human just spawn on the track? <laughs> I feel like I could have done it, but my eyes were averted momentarily as a random person just decided to teleport onto the track. So is that person still there? They're there. Yeah, they're everywhere. I think I just ran some random dude over. Anyway, waste. Oh, huh. Maybe the Wastelander isn't that good at the ice. All right, I'm going to go way inside. Okay, that was too far inside. All right, trust me on this. I want maximum speed this time. Big downward acceleration. Gonna hug. And then we're gonna, just trust me on this. We're gonna climb this thing. So what, I, what I'm trying to do right now is cheat this. I'm trying to get up here, okay. And then climb one of these pedals or whatever you wanna call them and go over this thing. I'm not gonna lie, my struggles have been in vain so far. Come on. Uh, oh. <laughs> I can get so close. I cannot believe. Sorry. I can't believe I'm about to say this. I don't think the Wastelander can do this. This is my best hug yet, and it loses it right at the end. All right, hold on. I want to try this one more. Oh, hold on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so now. No, 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 no! Let me have that! Ow. Ugh. Just got RKO'd by the Wastelander. I can't believe I'm about to say this, 
The Wastelander just failed. All right, who doesn't want to let me down? You know what? We haven't done Supercar yet. Supercar. Out of the way, garbage. Nobody loves you anymore. Fast. I like it. Although it doesn't really matter on the first challenge, but Supercar's accelerations are so good. Look at this. Look at that full backflip. Totally doesn't stick the landing. Ow. Now there goes the paint job. So you may be asking yourself, Oh great, how's it gonna do on the ice challenge? Just you wait. Oh yeah. You ready? You ready for this? You ready for this? Hey! Uh oh, oh, oh God, oh God. All right, uh, I think I can still make it. Are you ready? No, 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 no. <laughs> Lands on the roof. Interesting. Maximum yeet. I was trying to just fire off and see if I could land it. All right, maybe the supercars aren't quite as good on the loops as I had anticipated. Okay, this feels good. This feels good. This is a good run. This is a good run. This is a good run. This is a bad run. This is a go. Why are going higher? Why or why? So um, I hate my life right now. Christmas just came early. Hope you enjoy your presents. I figured I would just try the other supercar that looked really good because I don't, I don't know at this point. Like, I'm already through half of the vehicles or more, and we haven't even gotten past the third challenge yet. Most of them can't get past the second challenge. But we've got full torque now. Full torque. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe the grip strength of this thing is a little bit better too, or just the downforce. You can do it! Oh, no, 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 ow, 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 spine, ow. Spinal compression is good. Ooh, hey! I almost murdered that bird. Hey! Oh, sweet Mary. Finally, a supercar makes it past the tube of despair. God, I finally made it past the Canadian death trap over there. The tube of infinite darkness and ice. So now it's all about the braking potential. And I don't know, I, I don't know if this thing really did that challenge just then better because of the downforce or because it legitimately has better tires. All right, so we're gonna angle this down. I'm gonna try and keep as little speed as possible and then stop. Oh, there's no way, there's no way. I didn't stop at all. Obviously, when they made this car, they didn't think you'd ever use the brakes. All right, I'm gonna just... What the... What? What is that? <laughs> there was no texture there, Alex. <laughs> Can I cheat this? Hold on. <laughs> now that I know this is here, I just want to see if there's any way out. Oh, there's like a giant rock over here. Did you know about this? All right, yeah, there's no way out. All right, Canis. It says lifeguard. So go ahead and guard my life. Never mind, you did not guard my life at all. My life force is in fact leaving my body. I'm giving this one more try. I just need to know, because we failed so bad on this one. I don't, I don't even, I'm not gonna sit here for th Yeah, this is terrible. I can't believe this did so poorly. I really thought this would have gotten past the first challenge. All right, starting to get a little concerned now. New, no. okay, sounds good to me. At this point, I'm ready, I'll, I'll try anything. Again, when it, oh my God, this thing almost goes to space. When it comes to the very first challenge, supercars are incredible. All of them have met their match except for one against the Canadian Spiral. This is pretty good. Oh, wow, okay. Oh no, the traction on this thing is way better than the other supercars. Watch this. Boom! <laughs> yeah! Now it's just a matter of how good are the brakes. Blam, it says. This is like 1960s Batman. All right, so we're gonna get boosted. We're gonna come down. We're gonna slam on the brakes. Okay, the brakes are a lot better than the last car. Getting to this point in the course is no big deal on this thing. I still don't think that there's any way that it's going to be able to brake in time. I, maybe if I angle it to the right? I don't know, like I can, yeah, even if I angle it, it just kind of slides sideways. Whenever you see me slithering out of a car, you know that I am filled with regret and disappointment. Say hello to the side by side. Master of grip strength. That's what I'm talking about. Ice, what ice? I was born of this. 
Yeah. Oh, sadness. I feel like that first one was a fluke. We're gonna start on the inside, and then we're gonna kind of like, yeah, see, you move to the outside, and the tires stay in contact with the road a lot better this way. All right, the brakes on this thing should be pretty good. Stop, 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 stop. Good, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. First one to be able to do the, the stopping, the braking, whatever you call this, Alex. I am levitating upward. This is so weird. I am being pulled to heaven by the rapture. Thank you. Finally, no more GTA testing. <laughs> All right, go ahead and grab the teleporter. Hey! It's so weird. I feel like the board is staring at me like a giant pair of eyes. It's just really disconcerting. What do we have next? What is this? Cornering grip surface wood. Oh, we're going through all of the Captain Planet elements. Great. 26. If I know Alex, 26 means 26 seconds. Do I just go? Do I have to wait for anything? I feel like I just go. I'm just gonna go. Maybe it starts after the car like touches the, the wood or, whoa, okay. So I can get to this point pretty easy. Maybe it's just me. That did not feel like 26 seconds. Does it pulsate? Is that what's happening here? Like I do, do I have to wait for it to go down and then come back or something? Okay, so it's on a set timer. See, now it's red. And then in a couple seconds, it's gonna pop back up. And now we've got 26 seconds. Got it. Okay. All right, so now it's mostly about how well does this thing like maintain its speed gripping around corners. So I don't, I mean, so far it feels okay. The top speed isn't great on this, but it's pretty good at maintaining its corner and stuff like that. There we go. Okay. How do we do? Did we get it? Oh, man, we were close. We were probably like two seconds out. All right, this time I'm ready. Go. I'm kind of starting to time it to see when it pops up. And we're going to try and kind of cut every corner right there. Cut every corner to shave off like a fourth of a second each time. Look at this right there. Boom. Big straight line. Tokyo Drift, kind of messed up a little bit, but I still think we're gonna be able to get this. And around the last, there's no way we don't have this. There's no way we don't have this, got it! With probably like a third of a second to spare, not very much, but it was something. So, so far, the side-by-side -side has gotten through four of the great pains of the world. What do you got left for me, Alex, what is this? Non bent wall ride 90 to 102 surface asphalt what does 90 to 102 mean not in seconds again is it oh not oh it's, it's degrees so we're starting at 90 degrees so wait when it's like 102 degrees it's going to be starting to move upside down how am i going to be able to beat that like <laughs> there's no way i can do that I don't even think the side-by-side -side was really made for wall riding. I, I don't know how well it can do on 90 degrees. Uh, it's not good. It is not good at all. Oh, what a nice tree. Don't mind if I just park my car right inside of it. This is what we're down to. I'm not using the monster truck. <laughs> I already know I can't do the wall ride. I need something with insane power, grip, braking, and downforce. I feel like this is gonna be able to do it. All right, so can it do the ice loop? You ready for this? You ready for this? Look at that. First try. I know all about this thing's downforce. How good are the brakes? I, I really have no idea. I'm just gonna hope for the best. Here we go. Come on, stop. Okay, feels good, feels good, feels good, 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 good. Stop. Stop. This is like 1992 cliffhanger with Sylvester Stallone. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? 100% we're doing this. I just need to not tilt at all. Perfect straight stop. Look at that. Look at it. Beautiful. Got it. Okay. Not putting any turning input in is the way to do this. So you may be asking yourself, Gray, are you slowly sliding off the board? Yep. Sure am. All right. We're going to hug this wall. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now I know how to get it with the supercar. So you really have to hug the wall. So now we have the 26, 26 second cornering. Go. If you start this with speed, I think we can get this. So go, 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 go. Cornering in this car is pretty good. I feel pretty good about it. The good thing is that it has great acceleration. So on these little straightaways, I can get a ton of speed. 
And mentally, I think we have about six seconds left. So like five, four, three, two, one. Look at that! <laughs> My eternal clock is flawless. So now the question is, can it do the ridiculous wall ride? Where, of course, Alex had to put windmills in. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it feels good. Feels good on 90 degrees. So now we go to 92 degrees. Okay. Um, yeah, got it. 94 degrees. Whoa, <laughs> I don't know how that windmill didn't just hit me. 94 degrees. Oh, we're still rocking this. Look at this. 96, yes. Come on, baby. Doing great. 98. That's getting kind of insane, but it's all right. <laughs> oh, my God. 100. Oh, no. No. no! Oh, it was doing so well. We had to give this thing. Are you kidding me right now? What I was trying to say is I have to give this thing another shot because it's got to be able to do it, right? 94. Look at how, look at, look at the downforce. It's great. 96. No. <laughs> I literally got a, like a, a beard trim on that one. 98. Okay. We've got what? 100 and 102 left. I'm starting to, it is starting to fade a little bit. Oh my God, 102. Come on. Oh no, this is just 100. No. We've got a problem. I need to be able to dodge the windmills if I have to. We're trying the open wheel F1. It doesn't have the greatest top speed, but when it, when it lags in top speed, it makes up for in sheer aerodynamics. And I should have a lot of turning ability when I'm on the wall ride, which means out of the way, which means, oh, I just messed myself up, but I'll do it to hit a person. What I was gonna say is, and that means I should be able to dodge. Oh yeah, I should be able to dodge the windmills. And did I just hit a bird? Oh no. Oh God, it's slowly sliding. <laughs> it's like, look at the evidence, Gray. <laughs> so the traction on this thing on the sand should be pretty insane, I would think. Big backflip. Might as well do it while we're here. Oh, I might be able to dodge all the speed up strips. <laughs> oh man! All right, I guess I guess I have to do this for real. Because if I don't, I won't be able to land on the the starting pad, like this pad over here. All right. So now, nice straight stop. Beautiful. Oh, that is. This has the best stopping capability of any car we've tested, and it's not. It's not even close. Like, it's by a lot. 26 seconds. So again, the top speed is incredible, but the cornering on this thing should be amazing. All right, we're waiting, we're waiting, and go. Oh yeah, that was perfect. I got the timing down now. So, oh, I'm almost, almost overcorrect in this car. The turn radius is so good. Uh, there's one thing I love. It is piloting my very expensive vehicle on plywood from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> love it. I think that this may be our best run yet. Look at that. I, how many? What, I beat this thing by like seven seconds? That's nuts. Gigantic wall ride. Go. Now, this vehicle is going to treat 90 degrees like it's nothing. Look at this. Look at this. It's not even trying. 96 degrees. Even at that point, it might as well be 69 degrees because it's not even close. To what this thing is capable of. Now the cool part is, is I happen to know that if I need to, I can stop. I can slow down a little bit to dodge some of the, God, to dodge some of the windmills because this thing holds its traction insanely. On, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We might actually have this first try. Oh, this is happening. This is happening right now. Here it is, and that means that we have a winner. Well, this vehicle gripped the road the same way that Alex's boars gripped my neck. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.